I just woke up from the dead to tell you, you still not that girl. I think I'm crazy. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title, today we're doing something a little different. Um, today I'm having a chit chat get ready with me, and today we'll be talking about the whole Danny Lay and the baby situation. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna start with my brows. Throughout this video, if you're gonna see me with already used brushes, please don't judge me because I know y'all do it too. Don't mind, I know you do it too. And so basically, let me just update you just in case you haven't heard. So Danny Lay is a singer. Um, I don't really listen to any of her songs, but she does sing. Um, so she's a music artist and DaBaby is also another music artist. He raps and they have been, oh, they have been intimate. They have been dating um and now she is pregnant so let me just give you a little background on both of them so the baby came out um i don't know what year he came out but when he first did come out i felt like everyone lo really loved him because he just seemed really cool he was attractive his voice was really nice i know um the girls that i used to be friends with we all loved him because we just thought that he was really attractive even though he was short um you know, we just thought that he was really cool or a nice upcoming artist. So within the past, let's say two years, the baby has been involved with a lot of, I don't know if I should say scandal, but he just faced a lot of hate. Not even hate, it's well deserved because he had that thing with um, hitting the fan in the con in the in the crowd because um, she hit his face with the phone or something with the flash. I don't know. Um, what happened but he ended up hitting a girl a woman in the audience so he uh, he hits a fan in the audience because they were too close to him they shun they shun a bright light in his face and he felt offended he felt like the girl was trying to hit him whatever and then he had the whole thing with the lgbtq plus community he said something very homophobic um in a very large public space and a lot of people weren't rocking with that, so he got canceled from future, um, I don't know, future performances, I guess. So he has, he got in trouble with that. And now he, oh well, my eyebrows are a little uneven, but now he is another father. He has two previous, he has two previous baby mamas, I'm not sure of their names. I know one is called Mimi, I think that was the first one. But the third one is Danny Lay. So um, people are saying that in the middle of the night, the baby asked her to leave his house. And mind you, she has a three month old child with him. So she did not want to leave. Um, so people are really coming for the baby saying that he's basically being a horrible person because he's asking the woman to leave. Um, especially when she just gave birth um the son third and let's talk about Danny Lay. so Danny Lay, she's also a musician not a musician but an artist and um she made songs um she got some backlash because of a song she made called red bone is all he wants and he she was basically um targeting targeting his previous relationships or his previous baby mamas who are of a darker skin complexion i just learned this today but she is not black um i think she's hispanic of hispanic descent so she is not black um so yeah she made that song saying red bone is all he wants and got some backlash for that um because she's a colorist and yeah that is a little background on them so they went on live i don't know what day it was but they went on live well they didn't purposely go on live the baby put danny lay on her own live that's why i was a little confused at first because he went live on her account and he was basically they were basically arguing um he said that he he later posted a statement saying that he was recording for his protection because um she was being violent she was being physical with him and he just wanted it for record purposes because we all know his um, background with, you know, being abusive. So we all know his past about being abusive to women 
and I guess he was recording it for um, for legal for legal reasons, just in case like she wanted to say, oh she hit me, and or like just in case she wanted to say he hit me or something like that. He had proof. I understand that. I guess you know he has the right to do that. Um, so yeah. So basically, people are kind of upset at the both of them because they're saying that Danny Lay knew she what she was getting herself into and the baby's pro is actually being a horrible person per usual because this is not new he's been doing this he has as I said he has two previous other baby mothers so no one's really surprised and Danny Lay should have known better so my opinion this is what I think Yes, Danny Lay should have known because not only was she warned by the media, but she was also warned by her pre the baby's previous baby mother, so it's like she kind of had it coming. And she um, also embarrassed, well, tried to embarrass or ridicule the other baby mamas, and basically think, and she basically thought that she was that girl. And I just woke up from the dead to tell you. You still not that girl. So she really thought that just because she was not black, or I'm probably not, or she was dark skin, or she wasn't like the other baby mamas, that he was gonna treat her differently. You know, he was gonna love her, he was gonna marry her. I don't know. Like she really felt like she was different, or he was gonna treat her differently than the previous others. And I don't know why. I really think it's because she thought that her skin color had something to do with it. But the truth of the matter is, he is a man that does not respect women. So as long as you are a woman, he's not going to respect you. And I don't think she understood that. So, yeah. So she is at fault, just as he is at fault. Um, she was saying that the argument starting at the middle of the night um, was caused by her not taking a plan B. Girl, I don't know. Like, it's kind of ghetto. <laughs> this whole situation is kind of ghetto, but she said it's caused by her not taking plan B, so she delivered it to his doorstep as home or something. I don't know, but that's what she said. So I'm not really sure what she meant by that, but that's what she said. Um, so I'm putting my uh, Charlotte Tilbury foundation first i use it as a concealer but i'm just gonna put that one first under my eye i don't know why i just feel like doing something different today so that's why she said that he decides to kick her out because he she had been living with him for three months so it's kind of weird how someone's living with you for three months and then out of nowhere you're like okay get up and pack out susu is a youtuber that i watch and she actually spoke about this and she was saying how who was it susu no it was um trauma queen trauma and she was saying how um they probably got into altercation, um, argument about of some sort, and she was basically threatening him um, with, you know, spilling out, like spilling about what he's been doing, and um, it could be in jeopardy of what he has going on because he, I think he has like a show or something going on, some type of um, activity going on. So that may be why I might have put it in jeopardy. So he was like, let me just beat her to the punch, and I agree with that. Um, I think that very that really could be the reason so I'm not against that obsession because it's really weird and he went on live basically gaslighting her calling her crazy you know saying that she's a side chick and um, she even responded to that and she was like we were not I was not a side chick we were actually in a relationship and I believe her because she posted um basically some receipts of them together um, him kissing on her, you know, saying I love you. She said that he met her family and um, her the same. So it was kind of like, you don't do that with a side chick. So I completely understand where she's coming from, but he's just gaslighting up her head. And men love doing that to make girls seem crazy. So when the girl finally leaves, they can tell their new girl, yeah, my ex is crazy. So we've all seen this happen before, so we're not we're not new to this, we're true to this, so I completely believe her. But at the same time, this man did not want a baby with you. Um, this man does not want a relationship. He does not respect his previous baby mothers. So what made you think that you were any different? And that circles back to the whole 
red bone is all he wants thing that song is so stupid who makes a song like that but the whole situation just made me really think like a lot of women are not confident with themselves because if you have self-confidence if you were confident in yourself and you loved yourself you would know ahead of time that this man does not care for you and just feels i just feel really bad for her because she's um well she's not pregnant anymore but she's experiencing postpartum and i i've never been married <laughs> i mean i've never been pregnant but like i know that that being pregnant is very sensitive you're very emotional your hormones are all over the place it is a very serious you know it's a very serious time and for someone to be playing with your emotions during this very serious time where you literally just gave life you know so i know that she i really feel for her because i know that she's going through a lot but at the same time it's kind of like you brought this about on yourself and whatever goes around comes back around because the same way that she was ridiculing his past baby model baby mamas is a way that she's being embarrassed now and even um one of his first baby mama mimi her name is um she even spoke about it i don't know why she spoke about it um i think the baby um included her name somewhere but she really shouldn't have said anything because it wasn't really any of her business but it was just it just comes to show like the way you got him is the way that you're gonna lose him because i believe that she he was being um unfaithful with his past relationship to be with danny lay and now i i'm pretty sure that he is still cheating because she said something about um he wants me to leave so he can you know mess with his other baby moms or his other girls or whatever and it just goes to show that she has no self-respect for herself she does not love herself she's not confident in herself and i feel like she should have money should she like does she not have money to leave i really feel like she should have some type of money saved up to get her own place because when he was kicking her out he was telling her to go get a hotel to just stay in if i was in her place if i was in her situation i would take my baby and go because i understand I understand it's the father of your child i understand not your baby's father you want to be there you want to support you and the baby but he doesn't want to and he told you that before you even had the baby because she she even said that he left her while she was pregnant and that is so that's such a an like honestly i'm speechless because you don't i know she was going through a whole lot of emotions like that's not easy to be pregnant you know and to be carrying life and to just be going through that especially going through that alone so i feel like sis has been through a lot but at this point you have to just leave the man out of it because the man has shown you that he does not care you know the man has shown you that he does not care so i would dip if i was her i would get a hotel or at least you know be um not obedient but just be like okay i'll leave but can you pay for the hotel and figure it out from there like at that point you should just come you should just start preparing to be a single mother because obviously that's what he wants you to be he does not care about you or the child because he did not kick you out he kicked out you and his child not even your child his child as well it takes two people to make a baby so that should just show you that should just tell you a lot about what type of man he is what type of father he is so i just i just want better for our women and that's surprising i didn't know that she wasn't black the way that she was throwing that n-word around i thought she was black but she's not black and then i also heard that her family um is um what's that word called they don't want the baby like they're disowning the baby because the baby's half black i don't know if that's true i it kind of sounds like like a little conspiracy not a conspiracy but it just sounds like a little rumor um like gossip so i don't know for sure if that is the case so i can't say if that's true or not but that's what i heard so far 
So if that's the case, that's crazy. Cause then she has literally nobody then. But yeah, that just shows you that self love is very important because if she loved herself and she cared about the baby, you know, as much as she's claiming that she does, you know, she wants the best for her baby, she would have been loved. She would have up and left. She would have went to the hotel, make sure her baby is safe in an environment where it can be loved, you know? Because I don't know when the camera cut off, but I was saying that she's too attached to the baby. She just, I feel like she just relies on him so much that she really thought that he was going to, I don't know, step up and be a man, be a father. And I think she got disappointed and she doesn't have a plan B. I really think that that's what's going on. Um, Cause if it is true that her parents do not want the child or like don't want to help out because the child is black, then yeah, she's on her own. And that's really sad to say. So yeah. But that's why self love is so important because the way that he treated her on the live and if that's on live you can't you don't even know how it is off of the live so if he's comfortable with treating her like that and she's comfortable with it too because it seems like she wasn't really like she was mad but she wasn't heated like the way if somebody talked to me like that if someone that was supposed to be the father of my child or like my significant other talked to me that like in that manner with like my child in concern as well that's a disrespect that is a blatant disrespect that just goes to show you that he does not care for you nor does he care for the child and it just shows that she has no she does not care about herself the way that she should and it's just really really sad Cause the way she responded was not enough for me like and she, i and she was laughing and mocking him in the video but i know that sis was her i know that what he was saying hurt her because he was calling her a certified side chick well he didn't say side chick he said side b but i don't like cursing so he was calling her that and all she could do was repeat what he said like sis felt really bad for her but at the same time it's like everybody was warning you not only were the baby mamas talking to you because even the baby mamas told her <laughs> he's not he's not the catch like he's not who you think he is he's not he's going to do you as dirty as he did us and she really thought that they were just bitter baby mamas now look at her the same thing and I feel like the baby just gets off with gets away with so much because no one's really looking at him you know like people are observing what's happening but they're not really they're not really pressed like that people are more so kind of looking at Danny and they're like well you should have known you know and it's like I feel like he should get a lot of the backlash as well because he is a horrible person but at the same time sis you knew everybody was telling you why didn't you listen i have no clue she thought that she was different and that just i just hope that nobody thinks that they're different enough you no know one some women are going to understand that you cannot change a man if a man does not want to be changed so there's that but yeah, I just wanted to talk to y'all while I do my makeup. I feel like I always just do my makeup and I don't really talk to y'all like that. So I do want to do a lot more of these. Um, y'all can send me topics to, I don't know, to, you can comment on here or you can go to my Instagram and just DM me um, some topics. And I would love to talk to y'all more often. I'm just going to go ahead and finish up this face.
all right darling so this is the final look um i wanted it to be brown but it ended up looking pink so this is the final look i wanted to film this get ready with me with y'all well chit chat get ready with me with y'all um i really love this final look i look so cute um i really hope that you enjoyed this video if you would like more of these videos please be sure to let me know um yeah honestly it's just ghetto the whole baby mama drama i don't like it but that's one of the things that is going on and people can't seem to stop talking about it and i just i just feel like we should look at the deeper message not just the drama behind it and just to make sure that when we are dating or when we do get involved with other people um just to make sure that you know what you're signing up for and to make sure that you know what the person the other person wants as well and also practice self-love do not get into a relationship if you are not content within yourself if you do not love yourself um enough or if you're not confident in yourself and always make sure that you have your own do not depend on somebody else to give you what you need you know like i feel like danny just is having doesn't have any other choice she doesn't have a home it sounds like so he was kind of like all she had and never do that never put your all in a man never never depend on a man to supply you with everything because once he is in control of that he controls you and i think that's the situation that she's in and i am not even like i'm not even mad at her i'm not gonna shame her she did you know she did kind of dig her own grave in a way but at the same time the woman did just give birth so i feel like some people should cut her a little slack just a little bit just a little bit because she is a little colorist a little racist a little hypocritical but um let's just I don't know good luck to her god bless them i hope they turn out good i hope everything just works out for them but please comment some topics that um you think that are interesting if i don't know about them of course i need to research um read a little bit about it watch a little bit about it get some knowledge on it and i would love to do this again make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you on my next video bye I think I'm crazy.